So, I just watched the newest SAO movie. As a member of the internet, you already know the... Uh, let's say split on opinions on SAO. Some people love it, some people hate it, some people only like the first half, some people just want to fuck Asuna, some people swear that Kirito is Jesus Christ reincarnated in an isekai with one wife and 20 rejects, but the existence of SAO Progressive as a retelling of the SAO story is certainly a very interesting choice. With the addition of a new original character in the movie, how does this movie compare to the original season 1 of the anime? Note that I am not a light novel reader, so I have no idea how much they changed from the novel. So, uh... I'm sorry, light novel readers. The addition of a new character was certainly a strange choice to some, as butchering of the original story became an instant fear. What I will say after watching the movie is, I think Mito was added quite smoothly into the storyline, and they managed to keep the story quite consistent to season 1. There are some very minor parts that you could see as inconsistencies, but they were something like, This attack was supposed to be Asuna switching into Kirito, but it became Asuna into Mito into Kirito! So, if you're gonna cry about that, then, ah, uh, well, shit. But yeah, a lot of Mito's involvement in the story can be boiled down to <laughs> Our cameraman was drunk in season 1, but didn't show her on camera. But, 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 all of this did happen, just off camera, where you stupid viewers couldn't see anything. So yeah, I think they managed to capture a mini story between Asuna and Mito really well without altering or destroying the original story at all. Mito was blended into the story quite well while still having a role. In a way, she could be seen as ANIME DLC! For only $5.99, you too can get a new waifu added into your story, with a free trial of PTSD! <clears throat> uh, sorry. I quite like her character, and she definitely isn't one-dimensional, so give me the waifu merch! The light novel clearly didn't have enough material to cover what they wanted to cover, and the story between Asuna and Mito was probably given to both take up time and to give more insight to Asuna's character before meeting Kirito. Although I must say, I do wonder how Asuna was in the light novel, as clearly the story would have had to differ at least a bit if Mito didn't exist. Putting Mito aside, how was the movie as, well, a movie? It was... great. But in a very different way from why SAO fans, like myself, like SAO. As you may already know, this movie is pretty much the beginning of SAO, but retold from Asuna's perspective and what she went through. So that in itself is already quite different as most of SAO has a huge focus on Kirito! Kirito -kun. Kirito -kun. Kirito -kun. Kirito -kun. The other big difference is that there aren't as many big fights as you'd expect an SAO movie to have, so if you're expecting something on the grand scale of Ordinal Scale's final battle, then you might be a little bit disappointed. What the movie did take its time and I think excelled at was character interaction and building. There were a lot of scenes of just characters talking, showing how they feel about being trapped in a death game, and showing how Asuna grows as a person, even before meeting Kirito. I really loved seeing how Asuna and Kirito interacted when they first met. It genuinely felt like two really awkward teenagers stuck in a fucked situation, trying their best to interact. Kirito's socially awkward side is shown much more than it ever was in the anime, and seeing how Asuna was influenced by Kirito really did justice to how close they became and why Asuna loves Kirito so much. Because if you remember, in the anime, it went something like this. Ah yes, these two characters just met. I can't wait to see them slowly grow closer over time. JK, it's been two years, lol! It gave characters I already liked from the anime the proper backstory they deserve, and to me, it really elevated them as characters. Asta's character was really done justice in giving her growth and development compared to the little that we got at the beginning of the anime. Yuki's arc was still amazing, but that was really late in the anime. The movie is very much a character-focused movie, rather than a battle-focused one, even though there were a number of really good fights. It felt like the movie really showed the mental side of being inside a death game and what it means to be trapped in a different world, instead of just showing angry, screamy swordsmen screaming enemies to death. Although, you know, I also love angry, screamy swordsmen too. 
Despite me really loving the extra time given to slowly go through SAO, the feeling I got after finishing the movie was definitely... Fuck. No, not the horny type, you degenerates. It felt like dangling a banana in front of a monkey, then rocket launching it to the other side of the fucking planet. And yes, I didn't use a donkey for the analogy because I have a monkey brain, not a donkey brain. The feeling I got was similar to how I felt after finishing Core 1 of Mushoku Tensei. It felt like a grand prequel to an amazing adventure lying ahead and just left me feeling like a drug addict out of drugs when it ended because of how good the setting and build-up was. It left me a bit unsatisfied because I just wanted more. But I guess that is technically the aim of the movie, so that's a win, I think. Overall, I really enjoyed the movie for what it was. It gave a nice original story between Asuna and Mito without deviating from the original SAO plot, and gave SAO the proper preset and build-up that the grand plot really deserved, both in terms of world-building and characters. But the thing is, I just want more! You can't just leave me hanging here! But yeah, if you're a fan, then go watch it. And if you're not a fan and want to give SAO another chance, then go watch it. And if you don't want to watch it, then go watch it. But remember, this is not a sword goes clang movie. It's a mouth goes talk movie. Talk no jutsu is amazing. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed and want more anime and memory content, then be sure to subscribe. With that, I think I'm gonna go rewatch the movie. If my wallet can afford it.